If you can see, we made it to a rest stop last night. There goes Big Red, Mary Carmen, once again, doing their thing, taking us safely across the road. So just got done checking the tire pressure. So it, the temperature dropped last night, so the tires got a little low, so I went ahead and got them back to where I normally have them. But once again, can't deny how happy we are with our grand design. I ain't gonna lie. Again, we're first time RVers, meaning we are, this is our first RV. We have had zero issues with our grand design. And what I mean by that is nothing major, you know what I'm saying? Just little things have happened, but anything that has happened, grand design has done what they needed to do. And no, we are not sponsored by grand design, but I just wanted to let people know that this just happens to be the, the model we chose, right? So whatever rig you get, I hope that it takes care of you just like this one is taking care of us. But here's where we're at, y'all. Bam. A little closer to all about the banks meetup. So kind of excited to see some friends. And all, believe it or not, friends that we've met doing this, honestly, people that we've made connections with. So really excited about that. Up in the Welcome Center, they just wanted to come in here and see what they got to offer. I don't see her nowhere. Oh, there she goes. She getting some footage as well. Wanna act like she's shy, but we're gonna get right up and close in person. Say good morning to the people, baby. Good morning. Good morning to the people. <laughs> So it's quiet in here, so it won't be too loud. But yeah, you know what it is. You go to rest stops. Um, this is actually a, a welcome center. Come in, you know, check out the little maps or whatever like that. Got a little sign-in sheet in here, it looks like. Give you a little perspective where you're at. Boop, you are here. But this is some of the things when you get out there on the road, if you haven't. You get out there and see these type of uh, stops along the way. So um, we, we left Florida at four in the afternoon. And I think we got here, I think it might be 10.30, six o'clock. I'm sorry, 10.30, about six hours. Um, and there's a story behind that. Uh, your girl Doris, this is twice. So when we were younger, uh, we, we would go to New York a lot. So one time she's like, oh, I'm going to help you drive. Oh, that's what we're going to hold up. Commercial break. Man, we're going to Boone Hall. Boone Hall. Doris wants to check that out. So <clears throat> we were younger, on our way to New York. She's like, let me help you drive. Let me help you drive. I'm like, all right, no problem. <sighs> it was starting to get dark. We were leaving Florida, right? So get in the passenger seat, buckle up, boom, boom. She's gone. I take off, you know, take a little nap, right? Well, my nap lasted like at least an hour or two, whatever. I get up, I'm like, yo, I'm ready to go. Do you know that this girl drove to the next exit? We made zero headway. Fast forward to 2024, last night. We rolling. She's like, I wanna drive, I wanna drive. All right, no problem. We got 15 minutes in and we hit a dang rest stop. So I don't think she's gonna be doing that no more. What? At Go night. Sleep. At night. I mean in daytime, she's a she's a trooper. But at night, if I go sleep over there, we're gonna end up parked somewhere. Guys, he was sleeping. First of all, we <laughs> had stopped so we can switch. 15 minutes later, this is where we ended up at. Right. Nice, nice overnight parking. <laughs> Can't trust her, y'all. <laughs> but I gotta say, aside from the tractor trailers, you know that they got the, you know their rigs are running on that. I guess it's their AC, obviously, whatever. But um, 
it wasn't bad shout out to all the truckers out there hope you guys make it safe wherever you're going um so we're gonna get back on the road here go to that uh boom i guess it's a plantation doris wants to check out and then we'll end up at what used to be called carolina pines i don't really know what the name of it is now myrtle beach resort now? Yeah, myrtle, myrtle beach resort we we're probably one of the fewest people that ain't never been there yet so everybody always talks about how cool it is and how much fun they have so we're looking forward to go checking that place out so once again we gonna get back on this road do my little walk around again make sure everything is buttoned up birds are in the background again y'all we encourage y'all get out there get out there get out there get out there shout out to all my law enforcement brothers and sisters i know you're out there working hard i know you're keeping our safe our streets safe but take time for yourself get out there with your families be it in an rv take a plane ride take a cruise take a drive take time to give time to yourself all right so you know what i'm about to say right we will check in still on the way to the banks meetup but we're making a pit stop um doris wanted to check out boone hall plantation gardens i guess it's one of the i don't know oldest or longest running plantations that is probably closest to how it was when plantations were a thing so she wanted to experience this um i gotta say that my actual feeling i got like a little pit in my stomach because it is kind of i don't know it's a it's an eerie feeling um and it's hard to say that it's a very beautiful place but i can't help to think about the things that happen on plantations so i mean obviously it's part of history um you can't and this is just my personal opinion you can't hide history i mean i don't think you should hide it so you got to kind of experience it or uh, kind of know what things happen so that you don't repeat things um, in a negative way. So she wanted to come. We are here and we're going to check it out. So um, pretty straight shot, 95 to 26. And then you get off exit. I believe it was exit. Let's see what. Oh, two, uh, 212C off of 26. Um, you come in, long drive. Doris has some footage of that drive coming in. And then there's an overflow parking area. So through there is where we came in at. And you come and it opens up to this right here. They welcome RVs, big or small. You just pull in and find a little spot. This is called their overflow parking. Um, 
So what we'll do is check this place out. They guess they got tours and stuff like that. So we'll bring you what we see. Again, we're in South Carolina and it is called Boone Hall Plantation and Gardens. We'll check in. The reason I chose Boone Hall Plantation is because my father told us a story long time ago about how our family came from the Gullah people of the Carolinas. Boone Hall has a black history presentation of the Gullah culture. I was very excited to learn more about my ancestors. Boone Hall Plantation was established in 1681. It has a rich history in the state of South Carolina, the ground stretching over 738 acres. During the Black History of America exhibit, we learned that the enslaved Gullah people worked the rice and cotton fields. The plantation's highest income came from bricks. The Gullah people molded these bricks with their bare hands. Any imperfections were on the bricks. They were used to build slave cabins that housed two or three sets of families. If you look carefully on the slave cabins, you can see handprints of the enslaved Gullah people engraved into the bricks. FYI, Gullah culture is a combination of many African tribes that were forced to come to America during the transatlantic slave trade. The Cotillia became the last slave ship to bring enslaved Africans into America. 50 years after the transatlantic slave trade was outlawed. farm and nature tour. There's our seats that we got. And uh, let's see, it says it's a tractor pulled open air wagon. Takes visitors up the creek, through the woods, and around the farm. So we're going to be checking that out. This is a southern magnolia tree and it was planted in 1996. And remember, it's one of the owners who had passed away. Should be getting its uh, spring blooms anytime soon. Oak tree up ahead, tucked back in the corner behind the green sign of benches is the oldest tree of the property. This one's about 650 years old and it's got a circumference of right around 20 feet. The one with the big branch coming out into the yard, they call this one the wedding tree. We see a lot of wedding proposals take place in front of that tree. And this water to your left is a tidal creek. You'll see that the tide's somewhat high right now. And if you look at the flow of the water, the tide is still coming in, so it's not as high as it's going to get. When it's low tide, you see all the pluff mud down in there. You can certainly smell it, too. Uh, this is called Boone Hall Creek, and it's a salty brackish water. We've got lots of fish, shrimp, oysters, and crab out here in this water. And up until 1929, this was your highway. There were no roads or bridges to get you from Mount Pleasant to downtown Charleston. Only way to get downtown was by water. This Boone Hall Creek takes you to Wampachione Creek to get you up to the Wando River, and then that carries you to the Copa River to get you downtown. So it's about eight miles by water. What's now a 15 to 20 minute drive could take you up to six hours in those old flat bottom boats, depending on the tides. And if you see the salt grass out here, usually about mid to late September when the weather starts uh, war cooling down, it uh, gradually turns yellow. And now that it's spring, it's working its way back to its normal bright green. Salt water to your left, you got fresh water to your right. We're coming across our largest freshwater pond on the property. This is a man-made pond and all the irrigation for our crops come from this pond. Got a group of yellow-bellied turtles on that raft in the middle, and there. there's actually an alligator laying on the back of it. And you can see its, its tail hanging off the back. Let's see if we got any more on, on this bank at all. It looks to be about five feet long. For each foot in length, an alligator is going to have one inch between its eyes. So if an alligator is five feet long, it's going to have about five inches between its eyes. 
up here at the Butterfly Cafe, we've got a tape measure that you're more than welcome to borrow if you'd like to come down here to measure the distance between an alligator's eyes. Just make sure you return it when you're finished. And just behind the cotton are a few of our beehives. We've got 26 beehives on the property, all to help pollinate pollinator crops. We also make our own honey. Unfortunately, it won't be ready till sometime in May. And to supplement the loss of the income from the cotton in the early 1880s, the Hoelbeck family started planting pecan trees, which required we had a major hurricane that came through here and took out about half these trees. And at that time, they did not have names or categories for hurricanes, but it's since been determined that the one that came through here in 1911 was the equivalent of a Cat 4. And then uh, 1989, I'm sure a lot of y'all remember Hugo, who is a Category 5. South Carolina's native pine. Up here to the left, this little building called Henderson's General Store, and it was built in 1991 when they filmed a miniseries out here called Queen, which was a novel written by Alex Haley, Last of the Roots series. Roots was based after Alex Haley's mother's side of the family, and Queen was after his father's side of the family. That miniseries is where Halle Berry got her acting debut. Cantaloupe, watermelon, and honeydew. Much like the bell peppers and tomatoes, our season's all going to run mid to late April through July and into early August. And like the strawberries, when tomatoes are in season, you can come out here to pick your own. And we do stagger the planting of a lot of our crops to stretch out the season as long as possible. This field's got about 13 acres going back to that tree line. All these trees live oaks because they are in evergreen. They do lose their leaves, as you can see around the base, but once the leaves fall out, they're immediately replaced by brand new leaves. So they do keep green leaves year round. And there was originally 88 of these trees. We've lost two, one to Hugo and then another to a lightning strike. The plantations and gardens have become a popular location for the film and television industry, like filming North and South, The Notebook, which is one of my favorite films of all time, American Idol, Alex Haley's Queen, The Army Wives, and many more. Boone Hall Plantation is voted number one plantation in the Charleston area by USA Today. experience here at Boone Hall Plantation has been wonderful. We had a two o'clock tour of the main house. However, we could not take any pictures or videos of the inside of the mansion. The house was very elegant and smaller in size than we actually imagined. The grounds are well maintained and the property has a romantic feel about it. Maybe because they perform over 200 weddings each year here. We will have to tell our son Jose and his fiance about the sacred grounds that their ancestors helped build. Maybe they will consider having their wedding at Boone Hall Plantation. making a beeline to the Butterfly Cafe, where you can get lunch. They have sandwiches, salads, hot dogs, ice cream, and many other menu items to choose from. Also, a great souvenir shop. This was the perfect opportunity for me to collect another Christmas ornament.
If you have not done so, now is the time to click onto the subscribe button and the like button and participate in our 2024 challenge and share our video with someone you know. We are trying to reach 5,000 more subscribers by the end of the year and we appreciate your help. Thanks for watching. We'll check in.